Exception to time lived with you. So we've got this time lived with you kind of rule that was put in place that we saw in a couple areas, most likely in the head of household areas. So we have the exception to time lived with you here. Temporary absences uh, by you or the other person for special circumstances such as school, vacation, business, medical uh, care, military service, or detention in juvenile facility count as time lived in the home. So when you're talking about it, such also see kidnapped a uh, child later under who qualifies as your dependent if applicable. So when we have these kind of qualifications that someone has to live with you, for example, for half the year or something like that, then you're gonna say, well, what if they were had an issue where they're somewhere else like having a medical uh, situation or, or a juvenile facility or something like that for part of the period, then what does that do to that kind of calculation of having lived in the home? And these are the exceptions then in those instances. If the person for whom you kept up a home was born or died in 2022, you still may be able to file as head of household. So now you have a situation, hopefully uh, there's a tragic type of situation here where you have an uh, individual that was possibly a dependent. You've got this rule saying that they have to be living with you for a certain part of the year, possibly half the year, but they died in 2022. Well, that of course is gonna, gonna skew how long you would consider uh, they, would, they would live with you. So if they died in there, you might have an exception to that requirement of the rule. So if the person is your qualifying child, the child must have lived with you for more than half the part of the year the child was alive. So that's gonna be the rule then the, the period that they're alive, not the entire year, because that's gonna skew, that's gonna mess up the calculation in the time frame period that they were alive within that year. Uh, uh, did they live with you, say, for like half the year, for example, if that's the rule being applied? So if the person is anyone else, you can see publication 501, that's on iris.gov website. Similarly, if you adopted the person for whom you kept up a home in 2022, the person was lawfully placed with you for legal adoption by you in 2022, or the person was an eligible foster child placed with you during 2022, the person is considered to have lived with you for more than half 2022. If your main home was this person's main home, for more than half the time since the person was adopted or placed with you in 2022.